Hi, I'm Mike Feinberg, one of the co-founders of KIPP, which stands for the Knowledge is Power program. KIPP started in 1994 back in Houston, Texas, when Dave Levin and myself were two fifth grade teachers in the Houston Independent School District. We were getting frustrated at what was happening when our former students would go off to middle school and high school, and they wouldn't perform as well in the classroom and out of the classroom as well they had with us. At first, we were finger pointing and, and blaming everyone else for what was happening, but we realized as fifth grade teachers, we could assume more of the responsibility ourselves. And the night we started doing that in late 93 by putting together a plan to start KIPP in 94 was the night that the solution started. So we decided to work very hard, be very nice, take no shortcuts, and make these sacred promises to our children that we'd help them with all the academic, intellectual, and character skills they would need to go off and do well through all of middle school, through high school, through college, and beyond. And so we are on a mission to prove both to ourselves, to our kids, to their parents, to the community, to society, what's possible. And that any child from any zip code can succeed in school and can succeed in life as well as any other child from any other zip code. So we went back to the drawing board and started the Knowledge is Power program to help make that happen. And there's no fancy whistles or bells about KIPP. The basic premise of KIPP today in 2011, as is back then in 1994, is that there are no shortcuts. Whether it was a, talking about a fifth grade program in 1994, two schools in 1995, or today, KIPP is a national network of 109 public schools in 20 states in D.C., serving 32,000 children around the country every single day. And at that size, we are the largest charter operator in the United States. We are also sending more kids to and through college than any other charter operator in the United States. And we're doing that than lots of other school districts around, which we're incredibly proud about. And so when we think about that relentless focus on great teaching and more of it, that is what separates what's happening in the KIPP world from what goes on in traditional school districts. And because our engine is school leadership, we are able to grow this footprint to the point where we can now start to grow much more rapidly. In fact, by 2015, we expect to have nearly 200 schools and nearly 55,000 children in our, in our schools. And that's without a lot of incredible effort because of the school leadership training program we spent a whole decade working at before we started looking at to replicate. That great teaching and more of it is what's helping us not just make the kids to be really smart fifth graders or smart eighth graders or talented high school kids, we, our goal is to help our kids get all the way to and through college and eventually have the freedom to do in this world whatever they choose to do. What makes us unique is we're not trying to be unique. We're, we're trying to do some basic blocking and tackling and we execute. So every day we show up at our schools wondering what else can we do to get better. So we make that commitment to the children that we're going to constantly work on becoming as best teachers as we can. We're always working at hiring more great teachers. We're developing our teachers and we lengthen the school day, week, and year. So our kids have 60 to 70 percent more time in the classroom than traditional public schools so that they are set up for success as we climb the mountain to and through college. And the fact that we've been able to send so many kids to college and through college, and we've been able to grow to be the largest charter operator in the United States, it would not be possible without an amazing group of friends and supporters who helped us early on when this was just a speck of an idea, who helped us figure out how to take our idea and turn it into schools, and who also were with us and figured out how to take our schools and turn it into a collection of schools that's now more than just school, it's now, it's now morphing into a movement. And together as a movement, we're now going to have that actual prove the possible for the rest of our children in this country too.